Hi guys, Flying Fish here, and welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. Uh, today, I want to take a look at the Thank You Celebration gift cards that we are that they are handing out during the celebration. If I can just find them right here, uh, they've done this every year. Uh, this is the, as you can see, this is the fourth one. Uh, what this is, as it's a treasure item that everyone will get on logging in, and it's also you can get two extra ones from missions and two more from, uh, oh, four more from Shenron. And what it is basically is it's giving you, it allows you to pick any of these characters that are listed here, uh, completely for free. So I want to make a video talking about, uh, trying to help people figure out which characters they should prioritize with their tickets as well as exactly how to get the tickets as well. So, like I said, uh, you get the first ticket from logging in, if I can find that. Yep, right here. Uh, you get the first ticket just from logging in, any login after the third, so if you just log into the game, you'll get this free ticket to get a free uh, SSR character, and then you get the two other ones from mission rewards. I just have to... Oh, can I even look at... Uh, this, this mission screen update is really really weird I don't I don't like it uh, okay so as you can see this is what we have right here this is how you get the you get the next ticket from completing all of the missions for the thank you celebration part one and then you get the second ticket oh wait no that's a Dokkan Quest one um, you get the, one of them from using 1300 stamina and then you get the the third one from uh, just clearing all the missions for this part one. Next four tickets, you get all of those from Parunga. So you collect the Parunga Dragon Balls, uh, they're the once a day uh, thing. Uh, you get one Dragon Ball a day and we're gonna get uh, three, three separate Parunga summons. Parunga gives you three wishes and we'll get to do it three times. And here you go. Oh, actually, Oh no, I'm 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 completely wrong. Okay, so the gift cards are one round only. So they're the first round only, and you get two tickets. So I'm guessing that means the last two, because we are getting seven tickets total. Tickets six and seven will be handed out as part two of the celebration, uh, when we, uh, you know, when they actually start releasing content instead of banners, you know that. And these are the uh, Parunga. These are the the missions you have to do to get the Parunga Dragon Balls. Uh, they're not. I don't know why they sh don't show all of them here. Oh, that's that's the seventh one. Okay, I'll just tell you guys how to get all these. To get the first Dragon Ball, you have to use your gift card. It's the first one you get from logging in. Just use it to exchange for a character. Uh, for this one, I believe you have to beat the Frieza, the new Frieza's Dead Army story event, and then uh, this one. Aim for strength beyond your dormant power. You just gotta put a skill orb on someone. It could be any kind of skill orb. The like one of the rainbow ones. They work too. Uh, strengthen your ally with a Dokkan boost, which is just Dokkan awaken a character. Uh, reversing and awakening your character. I know this does not count towards this, so you have to actually go and awaken someone. So. You'll find someone to do that with. Uh, I still haven't cleared this mission because I'm working on just awakening a Dokkan Festival character. Uh, and then this one, enjoy the events and Dokkan events. I believe you just have to use a whole bunch of stamina. I don't know how much exactly, but I got this one done pretty fast. So just, just playing the game normally should get you this one. And then fight alongside warriors of the same color, which is just run a mono type team such as like all SDR, all AGL, tech, physical, and those kinds of things. So that should just about cover how you get all these tickets. You get the first one from logging in, the two and three from missions, four and five from Parunga, and then six and seven will be in part two. So we can't get those ones yet, but maybe by the time you're watching this you can. So now as for characters you want to pick up with these tickets, or I'm sorry, the gift cards, there's obviously a huge catalog that you can pick from the 77 special characters. I found that you want to prioritize, in my opinion, 
You want to prioritize easy A characters on top of everything. Though honestly, I'd probably say you want to prioritize like, as number one being characters that you don't have yet. And then after that, you want to go easy A characters. And then uh, you want to go dupes for easy A's. And then like, and then just for dupes for characters you have like the less copies of. So as for the characters here, I'd recommend uh, in general. Uh, this Goku, hang on, uh, let's look at it in the actual thing, I think it'll be a bit easier. Uh, it's right here. Uh, this Goku, he easy A's, he's super amazing, I used him for Super Battle Road, the Extreme AGL one, so he'll work great there. Yeah, I would recommend him, uh, Dispo, he easy A's, but I would, uh, he's, <laughs> uh, he's not very good, so unless you don't have him, I don't recommend. Uh, Shape Up Boo or Skinny Boo, whatever you want to call him. He's amazing. Uh, I would absolutely... If you don't have him, uh, he. this is a. This is one of the top priority characters, even though he doesn't easy A. Uh, Khalifa, she easy A's. She's very, very good. Uh, Cell is... Uh, he's okay, I mean. What does he do on Super Attack? He does raise attack and defense on Super Attack. And he is on Otherworld Warriors, too. If you don't have him already, I would recommend buying him for- Well, obviously, if you don't have him already. But for the Legendary Vegeta event coming up, it does have uh, Otherworld Warrior category mission. And this cell will be a super great option for that since he's raising defense. So you want to stack his defense. And he'll be kind of untouchable there. Uh, except for, like, the final phase, but... Uh, yeah, Cell's really good. I would recommend him if you don't have him already. Uh, Trunks is bad. Uh, this Gohan, easy A's, but I found that I never use him, so... Uh, I don't know. Uh, you easy A, but you're not too good. He is- this Frieza is amazing. This is a top priority character. Reduces damage received by 90%. You bring this guy into extreme AGL, super battle road, you're gonna be fine. Uh, yep, super, super recommend him. Uh, you're bad. Uh, you're amazing, though. He does easy A, except the only thing with him is I find myself never actually using him. Maybe just Realm of Gods needs more buffs, but... Like, honestly, this guy is amazing. I've seen him get to, like, 5-6 million attack stats and stuff. I just- I don't know, I just don't use him. I guess, yeah, he's probably a priority character not the highest priority though uh you easy a but you actually suck <laughs> uh you're really good this guy is not talked about a lot but he's honestly really really good he he can build up pretty crazy levels of defense then we have uh, this goku uh he's all right for the super saiyan 2 team of course the easy a's as well um you're you're mid uh you're, you're mid and you're not very good. Uh, you are, this guy's kind of interesting. He does, what does he do? Uh, I think he has like a, yeah, he has a high chance to stun on super attack. And he's also, uh, he's all right stats wise, nothing insane, but the high chance to stun would be really, really good in super battle road and stuff. So. If you're struggling with any of the tech super battle roads, I might recommend this guy. Uh, you're bad. Uh, you're... You're okay, I mean. Uh, you're okay. You also raise defense, don't you? Yeah, he- this guy also stacks defense. So he'll be amazing in the Legendary Vegeta event. So I'd pick him up if you don't have him already. Then we have this Vegeta, who's... Uh, I mean, he's not... I don't want to say he's bad, because he's a support unit. And he easy A's, so... Uh, he's he's just kind of mid. I used him in one of my videos once as a support. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, you're honestly pretty good. He also easy A's too. This is, again, a character that no one really talks about, but he is honestly really, really good in the... In events like the Shadow Dragon stage of Super Battle Road. I'd bring him over the physical Nova Shenron any day, honestly. 
Then we have Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta, who's bad. Uh, you're a good support for the Super Saiyan 2 team. And he works really well in that one EZA stage event. I don't remember what one, but uh, yeah, he's good. Uh, you're pretty good too. Maybe if you need some world tournament help, I would recommend him. Uh, you're kind of mid, uh, not very good. You're bad. Uh, this guy, I believe, does seal on super attack. So yeah, you might want to pick him up. I don't know, he's pretty low priority. Uh, she, you on the other hand, this card is amazing. So she is a Peppy Gals slash transformation boost category leader. And kind of a staple in the Peppy Gal Super Battle Road. Last year, I I actually used my tickets to rainbow her. So, I mean, if you want to... This is a top priority character, I feel like, if you want to bring her along. Uh, you're mid, but he is going to get an easy A sometime soon in the future. It might be really good. Uh, if you need help with Batara Super Battle Road, I guess you could buy him. But he's pretty low priority. Uh, you're okay. You're you're mid. Uh, uh, he's good. I just haven't had the opportunity to use him lately. Uh, I think you're mid. You're mid. This guy is honestly slept on. He's pretty amazing. I can't actually. I mean, I can't say from personal experience. I haven't easy a him yet because I haven't farmed his super attack, but. I heard he's really good on the target Goku team, which could be useful in, uh, super, uh, sorry, uh, like any of the legendary events and stuff. Also, I believe he does infinitely stack defense as well, so, again, that makes him pretty amazing. Uh, you're bad. You're bad. You're bad. Uh, he's... I mean, I, I don't even know. I, like, never use this guy. You're bad. You're bad. You're bad. But he could easy in the future. I don't know. Uh, he's kind of, This guy's kind of mid now. He used to be really amazing, but he's... He's a slot one unit. Except he doesn't... His defense isn't all that impressive, so... Yeah, I'd say he's not very high priority. Uh, you... You, sir... Uh, you're, he's the counterpart of the AGL, uh, Angel Super Saiyan 2 Goku, and this guy is honestly really, really good. He's an orb changer, just like Goku, in the easy A's. Um, I'd say this is a, this is a top priority character. He's honestly super, super amazing. Uh, you're okay. This guy, yeah, he's like the Inzamasu. You can get some use out of him. Uh, Vegeta, on the other hand, is... Uh, well, I mean, not much I can say about this Vegeta. He's a, he's a unique unit. I believe he was a global first. And he could easy A in the future and be really good. Uh, yeah, I guess this is a card you could pick up. Though I wouldn't say he's super high priority or anything like of that matter. I'd say she's pretty low priority, but... She's she's kind of funny unit. She does seal on super attack, and she's a support unit that's giving defense plus a hundred and twenty percent. Yeah, that's really funny. Yeah, that's like that's like a that's like a that's like a twenty thirty passive skill right there. <laughs> oh, okay. Topo he easy a's. He's uh, a part of the dispo in Topo easy a. Uh, he's honestly really really amazing. Uh, I'd say he's a top priority character. Uh, Boo, I use this guy every world tournament, though I'm not sure if you'd want to pick him up. Like, on his own, outside of the world tournament, I don't feel like he's that impressive. In the world tournament, he's good because he's raising key spheres, but I, he's not going to be actually, like, taking out any enemies unless he's, like, full... Like, you get, like, a full field of orbs with him, or he's rainbowed. Yeah, I don't know. He could be really interesting when he easy A's, but that's not going to be, like, this, like, for months at least. Uh, this guy could be pretty good in the fusion category of Super Battle Road. I guess if you're struggling with that, you could pick him up. 
Uh, Goten is the best of the family Kamehameha EZAs. He does, he's a rainbow orb changer and can be used with the LR Gohan and Goten, I guess. I mean, he's honestly, he's kind of mid, like, stats-wise, but, um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. If you, if you like running siblings bond and stuff, I'd say pick him up. Uh, Goku, you're bad. Uh, this 17 is honestly slept on. He infinitely raises defense when he easy A's. Uh, he's super good. Um, yeah, I don't know. I might say it's worth picking this guy up. But the kind of, the difficult part with all these units is because they're all, like, unfeatured characters, it's like, it's like you could buy these characters and, like, like someone you don't have and then like next banner comes out and you're gonna pull them like three times or something like dumb like that so yeah i don't know that's why i'd prioritize new characters over like dupes and stuff uh beerus is he's kind of mid uh this this evil boo this pure evil boo he easy a's and he's super amazing in the uh majin boo saga super battle road so uh, he was in the Truth Use This Guy to No Item, the Extreme Super Battle Road, uh, Boo Saga team, or stage, whatever. Uh, so, I'd say he's top priority. He's really good. He's not, not as type, top priority as the other ones, but, uh, he's still really good, that I find. Uh, you easy A, but you're bad. Uh, you're mid, you're bad. This guy's kind of like the Cell, but... I don't know. I wouldn't- I wouldn't recommend him. Uh, this Vegeta, honestly, is- I'd say he's kinda- He- he infinitely stacks defense, which can make him really, really good for any of these stages, I believe. Uh, the Legendary Vegeta event is not out on Global right now, so I can't- I don't- I can't remember. Oh, Gifted Warriors, I think, is like- Yeah, Gifted Warriors is one of the categories for- the Vegeta event. Yeah, uh, you could use him in that. Yeah, I'd say he's top priority. Now, here we go. Physical Khalifa. She is easily the best character out of this entire list by a mile. If you don't have her, absolutely buy, buy, buy her. She, she will easy A in the near future with the, the, with the tech fusing Kaelin Khalifa Don't confess. And she is an absolute monster, like, everywhere, so... Honestly, I'd say even if you have her, I think, like, getting, like, the first two dupes in her wouldn't be a bad idea either if you want to do that with your coupons. Slash tickets, gift cards, whatever. Um... Yeah, Khalifa is priority numero uno. I do not care, she's the best- she's the best unit of this entire list by a mile. Uh, Chi Chi, uh, she's, like, kind of mid. Uh, Kale is really, really good. I, though, she's just one of those characters I don't find that I'm running very often. If you're someone who does, um, who needs help with, like, a Universe 6 stage or, like, Super Battle Road, I guess you could bring her. Bergamo can be really good in, like, longer events, like the Legendary Goku event. Uh, but, uh, I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, what categories is this guy on? Like, <laughs> yeah, Siblings Bond, Universe Survival Sock, in Giant Form. Maybe if you need help in Giant Form, I guess. Uh, <laughs> in Universe Survival Sock, oh yeah. Yeah, this team needs so much help. Yeah, any team with her on it needs so much help, huh? Uh, you're bad, but I feel like it's like Bandai could like surprise drop an easy A for this guy in Pycon, like at like at any moment. So actually is Pycon even Oh that's weird. They put the Kaioken Goku on here, but not Pycon. That's really weird, because they both came out together. Huh. That's kinda goofy. Uh Trunks is uh mid, he's a support unit, so you could get use out of them. Champa's bad. Uh, you're, you're honestly pretty mid. Uh, you suck. <laughs> this guy's actually, like, awful. Uh, you're mid. He's a Super Saiyan 2 support, so you could get used out of him. Um, you're honestly kind of mid now, too. Uh, this guy is a sleeper for, like, Super Battle Road. He easy A's from the, the Fierce Battle Saga, or whatever you want to call it, easy A. 
and uh, he has a high chance to stun, he has a high chance to crit. Uh, he's Yeah, he's super, super good in Super Battle Road if you give this guy a whole bunch of additionals. The truth you summon is no item run of the physical extreme Super Battle Road, so I'd say this guy is kind of top priority if you need help with Super Battle Road, of course. Uh, this guy's uh, mid. You're really, really good, honestly. He easy A's too, of course, because he's so old. Uh, yeah, a huge help in like the Super Battle Road stages. Uh, I used to him in the the Legendary GT event, so... Yeah, honestly, this guy's... I'd say this guy's top priority. And then Piccolo, who just kind of sucks. So there you go. That is the whole category or list of characters. So, if I just want to do a quick summary of this, top priority characters that would be Super Saiyan 2 Goku, Boo, Golden Frieza, Ribrian, Majin Vegeta, Super Saiyan Goku, and above all by a mile, this Super Saiyan Kefla. Kefla, just get Kefla. I, you won't regret it. She's incredible. She's amazing. Uh, so there we go. Uh, that is the characters we have with the gift cards. Um, I hope this helps out someone. Um, thank you all so much for watching. Um, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you feel like it. I love you all. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> bye. I, I don't know. Bye. <laughs>